It's summer, and since I'm not gonna go camping, I thought to myself, why don't I just make my s'more cake? Because that's the closest I'm gonna get. But first, I need to go on the hunt for the perfect chocolate to go in the s'mores that top this cake. By hunt, I mean I'm just gonna go to my favorite chocolate maker and try a bunch of chocolate and use it in my s'mores. I know what I want. I always buy the same thing in here, which is um, the dark chocolate covered orange peel. Love it. Oh, and the English toffee with the chopped almonds. But we're, I'm gonna stay on track today. Um, I wanna make my s'mores with milk chocolate. So I want some beautiful milk chocolate bars. Right here we have a dark chocolate coconut cluster with toffee. I'm gonna stay on track today. Yeah, and this texture is insane. The texture of that is so good. I'm gonna stay on track today. I'm gonna stay on track today. I'm gonna stay on track today. Milk chocolate, juicy green raisins. Mmm. We ended up selecting three different chocolate bars, all of them delicious, and I'm going to make a two s'mores out of each one of these bars, and we'll just have to eat the rest. Someone's gotta do it. My friends at Soma Chocolate Maker were kind enough to invite us into their facility and show us around. They showed us everything from where they store their cocoa beans, how they process them, how they make chocolate liquor, how they make chocolate, how they make cocoa, everything. Oh yes, oh wow, they're, they're so large. Yeah. Oh my, they smell so good. Isn't it crazy that chocolate is Basically a yes, picture like a papaya, right? And then you break it open and inside all the seeds are the cocoa beans, but they are wrapped in like a, like a white fruity part. This probably has a name that I should know and I don't. If you know what it's called, write it below. So cocoa liquor is like the most intense um, product that we make. I mean, it's really cocoa nibs ground into liquor and all the flavor is there. Because of the particle size, it kind of overtakes your mouth. Okay, I'm ready. Right. Wow. This, this is it. intense. And that's what you missed out on. Well, I was editing videos for your channel, so I couldn't come. I don't see what that has to do with this, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this cake is made up of three layers of cake, all of them chocolate, but two of them are going to be baked directly on a graham cracker crust. To me, the graham cracker factor is really important. I do this by making a graham cracker crust the way I would for a cheesecake, and then I pour the chocolate cake batter directly on that, and it's all baked at once. I also decided to make this cake square because a s'more is square. Have you ever had a round s'more? No. And then the third layer, is just straight up chocolate cake. The ones with the graham cracker crust, I'm just leveling the top so they're both an even height. And the one without a crust, I'm going to level and I'm going to layer into two. You know what it's time for, right? Good. If you failed, I would tell you to leave. It's time to simple syrup these cakes. The graham cracker crusted ones, I'm only simple syrup being the top. I want the crunch on the crust to remain. For the cake I cut into two layers, I'm going to syrup both layers. And then I'm going to spread chocolate ganache onto one of those layers and top it with the second layer, but making sure to put the simple syrup side inside. Usually I don't do that. Usually the simple syrup is always on the top, but I decided to coat this entire cake in compound chocolate so it represents the square of chocolate in the s'more. And now you can just melt some compound chocolate, pour it on the surface of the cake, and then use a small offset spatula to spread it nice and thin. Where does the marshmallow come in? Is that some marshmallow? Can you relax yourself, Orhan? I'm getting there. Well, I don't know if you know this, but cakes take a long time, Orhan. And now you can chill that cake until the surface has set, and then you can pull it out of the fridge, flip it over carefully, and do the same to the other side, this time making sure that the sides are in fact coated, but again, using the spatula to smooth it out. Now you have a big block of chocolate. Now, Orhan, this is the part where I'm getting to the marshmallows, a toasted marshmallow buttercream. What I did is I poured a bunch of mini marshmallows onto a baking tray and put them under the broiler 
you want them to cool down to room temperature and then you can scrape them off the tray and stir them into buttercream. I will say that this feels weird because marshmallows kind of have an elasticity. Mm -hmm. So it feels resistant at first, but it will mix into the buttercream. Oh my, do you remember how long it took me to wash my hands? Yeah, like... I, it took forever to soak it out of the bowl and, and the spatula. <laughs> There's a hair here. Is yeah, it this one? Yeah. It doesn't curl anymore. It quit. Why don't you just cut that? No, because then when it grows, I'll be like alfalfa. <laughs> <laughs> I put the first graham cracker crusted layer down with the crust on the bottom. So think about <laughs> You understand? <laughs> okay, now it's time to spread this gorgeous toasted marshmallow buttercream on top. With this cake, I intentionally want the buttercream to go over the edge, just like when I normally fill a cake, but I'm not gonna clean up the sides, if that makes sense. Because mm. when you make a s'more and you squeeze it, the marshmallow you know, comes out of the sides. Now it's time to top the toasted buttercream, no, the toasted marshmallow buttercream with the chocolate block cake right on top. and. Ugh! Did you see that fruit fly? Wasn't the fruit fly? Yeah, so rude. This is not your show. Um, <laughs> uh, and then what I'm going to do is spread another layer of buttercream, pushing it slightly over the side like I did the first time. And now I'm gonna top it with that final layer of cake, this time with the graham cracker crust on top. You're like, you're, I, I keep doing this. Yeah, you keep Why do I do that? <laughs> like guys, and I made a small cake and it was to me. <laughs> I would eat the cake just like this, but it needs more, it needs to be decorated. So I'm going to spread another layer of toasted marshmallow buttercream on top of the cake. Again, putting it over the sides just a little bit. And I'm gonna chill this cake, let it set up. And while it does, I'm gonna make s'mores. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Not by a campfire though. Believe it or not guys, this is not a sponsor. Episode. No, this is not, I'm, no, this is not. <laughs> I feel like Soma sponsors my life though. So I take that bottom cracker with the melted square of chocolate, put the marshmallow on top. I want it to look like it's fresh from a campfire, but not completely destroyed. And I continue to make five more s'mores. I just want to have a selection so I could pick the best ones for the top of the cake. S'more beauty. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of s'mores, this is one of my favorite shots in the book. I want to blow this up. I keep saying this. There's a few shots in here that I want to blow up and hang in here, like a museum. I also wanted to have a few toasted mini marshmallows as garnish for this cake. Toasted a few with Bernadette's help. She's so helpful. I'm going to take my cake out of the fridge and top it. I just want to add a sort of a natural looking pile of s'mores and sprinkle on a few toasted mini marshmallows. It's like we're camping without the bugs and the dirt and with electricity and plumbing. Winning! <laughs> Winning. You know what I should do with this cake? Comment down below. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna eat it. Before I let you guys go, I wanna tell you that How to Cake It's first children's book is out and it's called The Perfect Cake. Guys, that's me. This book is for kids aged four to eight. It has a great story and there's not one but two kid-friendly recipes inside this book. Cause you have to start baking somewhere, don't you? The Perfect Cake is coming out on October 11th but you can pre-order it now. I will put a link in the description below if you're interested and thank you so much for joining me. I have to go eat some s'more cake. This works.